Four people were killed, two of whom were beheaded in Mount Elgin last night in an attack blamed on a resurgent Sabaot land defense force. The gang descended on Sosi and Saria villages in a door-to-door -door shoot or splash spree that also targeted livestock. The attack happened even as Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi visited insecurity-prone Kerio Valley and promised a fresh onslaught on bandits. Hassan Mugambi with details. In an attack that has the fingerprints of the dreaded outlawed Sabaot land defense forces, two villagers are reeling from the viciousness of the raid by a gang armed with guns and crude weapons. What left Rose Nasimiu in more panic is the fact that the attackers called her husband by name before shooting him twice in the chest in front of his family. <laughs> Now fearing for a return of the gang, residents are fleeing for dear life. The gang also turned machetes indiscriminately on livestock. Area leaders condemning the incident. The attack happening hot in the hills of a visit to the volatile Kerio Valley by Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi. With intelligence placing possible incitement as a reason for the perennial banditry here, Matiangi vowed an indiscriminate punishment on the perpetrators. And let me dare say this, at the risk of the criticism I know I will face, we will be ruthless on this matter. So, Babu, losing lives is not a game. You know, we have made it look like a game, a usual game. Matiangi issuing a seven-day ultimatum to security heads in the border area of West Pokot, El Genyo, Marakwet and Baringo counties to get heads rolling. Crime has been committed, but There must be a question to be answered here. With each community demanding for additional Kenya police reservists, to aid in the operations, Matiangi was of a different opinion. The challenge may be deployment. Askari wanakaa pande mocha hii, na mambo inafanyika pande hii ya shule, na atujaenda hapo vile nimezikia mkisema, sasa we will review the deployment, tuakishe kwamba askari wanaenda karibu na mpaka, wanashugulikia shida zote pande hizo. And the extent of the deep-seated animosity between the neighboring communities laid bare as Matiang is planned to have a joint meeting between the Pokot and Marakwet communities and their leaders failed. The interior CS also ordered the reopening of more than 16 schools closed in the area due to insecurity. With each community claiming to be the victim of the other and the negotiations far from being reached here, it is clear that the government needs to do more than just talk to ensure peace and stability prevails. Hassan Mugambi, Citizen TV from Koloa at the border of Baringo and El Geyuma.